Great, you built a robust strategy or strategies that you combine them in a portfolio and now you want to trade that portfolio to make some money. So you open a brokerage account, the question is, the critical question is, how much money will you deposit to trade this strategy or this portfolio? Hello everyone, my name is Ali Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing, algorithmic trading and everything else in between. Once you are confident that you have robust strategy or robust portfolio to trade and you want to find out how much money you need to trade that portfolio or that strategy, we need to define two important targets. And before those two targets, we need to have some assumptions. So. The first assumption is the strategy is robust, will perform in the same behavior, in the same way in the future, but the data will not be the same. Meaning, what the sequence of events that happens in the past will not be repeated exactly the same in the future. Therefore, the simplest way to simulate the future is to reshuffle those trades to find out different sequences in the future and that shuffling of trades called Monte Carlo simulation. So Monte Carlo simulation will bring all the trades, put them in a basket, reshuffle the basket, and then starts pulling one trade after the other, creating a new sequence. And if you repeat this thousands of times, you'll have thousands of simulation running exactly the same trades, but in different sequence. And those sequences will give us different curves. And those different curves will give us different characteristics of this strategy basically different drawdown curves and different equity curves so after this assumption now we can set our target well target one we don't want any of those future curves to drop below the initial margin of the contract that we are trading because if the initial margin of the contract let's say it's ten thousand dollars and your equity curve dips below ten thousand dollars that means you cannot trade anymore so target one, we want all curves not to dip below the initial margin. Criteria two, we need to decide how much drawdown we can tolerate to achieve those returns. So in this example, I will set my drawdown at 35%. So now we defined our parameters. Let's run some simulation. So this is the portfolio that I did uh, in a video and you can watch that video in the link in the corner or in the description below. Basically, it's the RSI 2 on 8 hours running on NASDAQ and on the ES. And these are the trades for both of them, as you can see, NASDAQ and ES. And this is the equity curve for both of them. So I exported the trade here, which you can do from list of trades and export. And then I imported them here. So this is the ES and this is the NASDAQ and this is the portfolio of both of them. And the equity curve is here. These are the stats. And at the bottom, we can see one and two because you are trading either one contract or two contracts, depending on the market favorable conditions. Uh, and again, you can watch that video uh, in the link in the corner. Well, first of all, we need to decide what's the initial margin that I don't want my equity curve to dip below so I can trade. Otherwise, if it dips below this number, I cannot trade. And this number, you can find it uh, in uh, bar chart or in futures margin requirement of your broker. For example, this is trade station. We can see NASDAQ 18,700 and S&P 500 is 12,650. And again, you can find this in uh, bar chart. So here it is 12,650 and each point is $50. NASDAQ is 18,700. Each point is $20. So I set up those numbers here. And then this is my starting capital, $35,000. So at $35,000, this is my equity. I'm making $200,000 net profit and my drawdown is 25%. But if I run a simulation, and in this case, we're doing 500 simulations only, the more simulation you do, the better picture you will get. Running a simulation of $35,000 equity, starting equity, we conclude that at 98% confidence, that means 98% of all my curves in the future of all these simulations, I get a drawdown at 
and my chance of having a drawdown less than 35% is 58% chance these numbers come from these figures so let me extend this so here are the figures 50% of all curves end up with $200,000 profit and 30% drawdown and then these figures changes until we reach 100% that means 500 curves in the future but look at this at 94% uh, that means I have a 6% chance that my I will end up in negative territory. So first of all, let's try to achieve that target, which is 100% chance positive. So let me increase my starting capital to 75,000. And now all of them end up positive. So that's good. I achieved target one, which is all my curves are positive. But let's see the drawdown. The drawdown still is 45%. And here you can see I have 86% chance of making 35% drawdown or less. Now, uh, I didn't set this to 100%. I set the confidence to 98% chance. So let's try make this to 110, which of course I tested this and I know this is the threshold. So at 110, we are very close to 35%. So 35.5%. So that is very acceptable to me and we can see that this is 98 so 98 is 35.51 and then between 98 percent and 100 percent two percent chance that my drawdown will be more than 35 and less than 52. that is what the whole simulation showed me so i did 500 simulations and it showed me that i need to start with 110 thousand dollars to make sure that category number one, which is I always end up positive. Category number two, that my drawdown is less than 35%. I need to start with $110,000. And even then I have 2% chance that my drawdown will be more than 35%, less than 52%, which is totally acceptable to me. These are the, the uh, boundaries that I set. And now let's see those boundaries on the NASDAQ, because of course the NASDAQ has a different uh, initial margin and of course different sequence of uh, trades so let's see what's the requirement there so this is the nasdaq and let's see uh, start with uh, something close at 100 and you can see here the starting the initial margin is 18700 so let's run a simulation and at a hundred thousand dollars it's all positive that's good we achieved category one but we're still 37 percent so maybe it's and at 110 we are far so probably it's 107,000. but that's that's okay let's uh, so now we have 98 percent point four chance that our uh, drawdown will be less than 35 and of course we achieved category one already that all the curves are positive okay so that's great we know that around 110,000 starting capital that the ES and the NASDAQ, both of them will achieve our goal, which is to always end up positive with doing 500 simulations uh, of reshuffling the trades. And both of them will be around 98% confidence that our drawdown will be less than 35%. The magic now comes from combining them in a portfolio. Now, I mentioned that you always need to trade a portfolio because you get a better equity curve. And here now we're gonna prove that concept that is not only you get a better equity curve but you get a better uh, simulation in the future of how much money you need so theoretically you would think that you need double the amount yes because you're combining these two together 110 110 you need probably two hundred forty thousand dollars to achieve that goal which is end up all the curves in the futures are positive and 98% uh, confidence that I will achieve less than 35% drawdown. So let's see what the simulation says about the portfolio. So this is the portfolio. And let's start with a 120. So that's uh, somewhere in the middle. And now let me run the simulation. And we can see that all of them are positive. So that's good. We achieved target number one. And surprise, surprise we also achieve target number two which is my uh, drawdown is less than 35 percent at 98 percent confidence 
So if I do $150,000 starting capital, let's see how that affects the simulation. And look at this. Now I have 99.4% chance that my drawdown will be less than 35, which is of course great. And that is how you capitalize your trading strategy or your trading portfolio. If you have any questions, any comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer you. And if you want to take this further and be part of my inner circle, you're most welcome to join our Discord server through the link below. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.